Welcome to Photography BB's Artistry Actions for Photoshop. I'm Dave Siram, the Editor-in-Chief of Photography BB, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate our brand new Masterpiece Photoshop Action. Now if you love to create digitally painted works of art from your photographs, then you're going to love the effect of our Masterpiece Action. This action creates a beautiful dry brush painting effect along with a wet paint blotch element that blends seamlessly to create a truly stunning work of art from your photographs. So before we dive into the Masterpiece Action tutorial, here are some quick but important points. So before we begin, a brief word on compatibility. Due to the way that Photoshop works, these actions are not compatible with every version of Photoshop. We've created these to work on Photoshop CC 2015 and newer to utilize some of the newest innovations that Adobe has included in their more recent versions of Photoshop. Additionally, because of the way that actions work, these are only compatible with English language versions of Photoshop. For our image requirements, our Photography BB Artistry Actions are designed to work with a variety of image resolutions and sizes. However, due to the way that Photoshop filters work, the results will look different when running any Photoshop action on high-res images versus low-res images. We've designed the Photography BB Artistry Actions to work with high-res images, either RAW files or JPEG files shot with a DSLR camera. Additionally, some of our actions include a version of the action optimized for lower res images, either shot with a smartphone or a point and shoot camera. When running the actions, choose either the high or low res action option depending on the image that you're working with. The ideal image size for optimal results is anywhere from 3000 to 5000 pixels on the long edge of your image. Another point to note is that our actions are entirely non-destructive. Every one of our actions will create a duplicate file first, leaving your original image files completely untouched. So before you can start using your brand new action, you need to install it into Photoshop. If you're new to using Photoshop actions, please watch the quick tutorial video that I've linked to below on how to install your actions into Photoshop. Once you've installed the Photography BB Masterpiece action, it will appear in the Photoshop Actions palette. And if you don't see the Actions palette in your toolbar, you can make it visible by going to the menu, Window, Actions. This set contains two versions of the action. The first is a two-step version, where step one allows you to choose a certain area of your image that you would like painted, and step two applies the paint effect to that area, blending everything else out to a gorgeous paper background. The second version of the action is a one-click version that will automatically create the work of art from the center of your photograph outward, leaving a beautiful border of simulated paper around the edges of your image. So let's run through the first, the two-step version, for greater customization over this effect. So the first thing we do is open up one of your photographs that you think would make for a great dry brush painting. I'm using this one here. The first thing I do is click on the Step 1 Select Focus action and click the Play button at the bottom of the Actions palette. You can close the dialog box that appears and then use the Brush tool to paint over your photograph covering the areas that you want as painted areas in the final image. So anything left unbrushed here will simply fade out to a paper texture in the final image. Now feel free to adjust your brush size and hardness at your discretion, but be sure to keep the brush opacity at 100%. And if for any reason it's not at 100% right now, you can just press the zero key, which will increase the brush opacity to 100% for you. Also, you can paint over as many areas as you like for different effects. It doesn't have to be just one area. So for now, I'm going to paint over the image like this for demonstration. And that's good. Now you'll find that a rough brush job often produces a more interesting painting than a precise one, but of course that's going to vary depending on your objectives. So after you've brushed over the area of your photograph, select the Step 2 Run Masterpiece Action in the Actions palette and click Play. Now depending on the speed and configuration of your computer, this action may take a few moments to run to completion. So let's just wait for that to complete here.
Okay, once the action is finished, you can close the dialog box by pressing stop. And actually, I'll just zoom in before we go through those so you can see the effect at 100% here. So the first thing you'll notice is this gorgeous textured paper, the dry brush painting effect, some sketch lines, and this paint splatter effect here. And now we can customize all of these things further. Okay, so in the layers palette, we have a few different layer groups to help us control our optional refinements. You can toggle these layer groups open by clicking the little toggle arrow next to each group name. So the first option is a color folder, allowing you to convert your final image to either black and white or one of the 10 color filter options for various effects. Next, there are some texture options to experiment within the texture effects folder, where you can play with the layer opacity and visibility of some of the texture layers. So I can toggle on or off this vignette layer. I can toggle on or off the noise texture in the paper. I can remove or reduce the opacity of the halftone texture in the paper, although I quite like the effect of having it on. So you can play around here with the layers in this group to affect the paper texture. So next we have the details folder where you can adjust the opacity and visibility of the detail layers for various effects on the details in the final image. So you can increase the opacity to pronounce the details further or decrease the opacity to remove details from the final result. So play around with those and you can see how that affects your final painting. Here we go. Okay, so the next group is our paint effects, which contains all of the paint layers. And again, you can really play around with the opacity of these layers to blend them differently and create a wide range of different looks with the paint. So the next group here contains the paint blotches, allowing you the ability to reduce or remove the effect of the blotch layers and the paint splatter effect. So we can start with the splatter and toggle it on or off or you can even reduce or increase the opacity any way you like. And you can see how that affects the splatter here as I do that. So the next four layers all contain the blotch effect of the paint. So again, you can play around and experiment with the opacity or the visibility of these layers as you like. So next up is the sketch lines group, which contains all of the sketch lines that appear both in the painted area and also outside of the paint area on the background paper, like you can see here. And when you open this group, you have a number of different sketch and scratch layers to play around with. So this is one of those groups where you could actually have fun for hours just playing with the different sketch effects. So I would suggest maybe brew a pot of tea or coffee and just have a nice relaxing time playing around in here. You'll have a lot of fun. And last up here is the paper group where you can really uh, experiment with adjusting the color saturation and lightness of the paper background to suit your image. So you can double click the adjust paper hue saturation icon here. And when that dialog pops up, you can change the color and look of your paper. So the hue color slider here will adjust the color like this. The saturation slider will either intensify the color or desaturate the paper color completely. And again, this is just the paper color, not the painted areas. And the lightness slider here will allow you to darken or lighten the paper to your preference. There we go. So as you can see, there are a lot of options to play around with here. So have some fun and try out different effects to create some beautiful works of art from your photographs. And that's a quick demo of how to use our Photography BB Masterpiece Action. Thanks again for checking out this tutorial. You can grab this action for yourself below and just have a blast turning your photographs into digitally painted masterpieces. Enjoy!